So I just watched 2013's Texas Chainsaw 3D again, and honestly, I was more open to it at first, seeing it, even though a lot of people hated it, but watching it again, I do see the flaws in it and the issues people have. A long lost relative is given an inherited to the house with Leatherface in it. They brought Marilyn Burns back to play a different character, a relative of the Sawyer family, and honestly, it was underwhelming, but at least we got a paycheck. Alexander Dodoria, I thought, gave a good performance, but everything in the movie just fell off. The timeline is is not accurate. The math isn't mathing. Her character should be 39 in 2012 if her, her character was born in 1973. Gunnar Hansen also makes an appearance in the, f in the opening of the film as one of the Sawyer relatives. When Alexander Dodar's character finds out she's related, she changes sides and decides to help Leatherface. I don't mind the townspeople being against the family for obvious reasons, but I don't like how they portray Leatherface to be like an anti-hero. I think Dan Yeager's performance as Leatherface is fine. I don't care for the prosthetics in the film or the um, pacing. The characters in the writing is pretty bad as well. It doesn't add anything except for maybe the ending. I kind of like her taking care of him, but... The only thing I can praise about this film is the opening and the set of the house for the original film. I really wish they continued the sequels after the remake sequel, The Beginning. It just seems so difficult to make a consistent taste to my school film these days. This film, like the original, had a modest budget, but unlike the first, you can really see it here. Just because there's really no passion behind it, it just feels cheap and not in a good way. Very unextensively, and I appreciate they do have some creativity in the process of the film. I do respect them trying to do something new and different, but this is... it's. It's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. It's not supposed to be hokey pokey, you know, turn yourself around. Just keep it simple and effective. And if the franchise taught us anything is that they're too ambitious for their own good, you know, with the next generation. The first was contained enough to where it felt grounded and real. And it may be simple, but it's effective and not lackluster. That's really all the fans want. So just do that right and we'll support through the rest of the way. What's your thoughts?